year. Promoting emerging talent and the continued growth of rugby league globally has been a project of passion for Paul Broughton, who holds an Order of Australia medal for services to sport and community. Pleasingly, the World Nines will see Paul realise his goal of introducing new nations, including players from China and India, to the International Rugby League family right here in Samoa in October during the World Nines. I'd like to now welcome Mr Paul Broughton, OAM and Chairman of the World Rugby League Nines to say a few words. I must say my first meeting with the Prime Minister endowed me to him when he talked about the coaching of coaches. He has proved in recent weeks to be a very good captain coach himself. The wonderful thing about sport is it has the world the opportunity to change the way we think and the way we feel about world dilemmas at the present moment. Every day we pick up a paper, pick up this morning in the Observer, its front page there's violence and its back page is full of optimism. And that's what sport is. If this event had been held four years ago, there'd be 12 men and no women. If this event's going to be held at a will here in four years' time, women and women will be on parity. This is the only official launch of the event in Sydney, due to the fact that we're still waiting to see it, two additional cl clubs perhaps go to 16, then that'll be very good for us. At the present moment, even with the 12 and 8, we've got the four continents of the world covered in the men and the women. So every continent in this global planet at the present moment is encouraged to supply a team to play in the World Championship in Samoa. The, uh, I'd like to acknowledge my own associates over, it goes back 10 years with Fritz and with Sua, uh, who I met 10 years ago at, at, a, uh, at a bar in Sydney. And that's, that bar formed the Asian Pacific Rugby League Federation, of which they may care to talk about it later. The um, Asian Pacific game will grow the Southern Hemisphere itself, has far outlived a lot of the Northern Hemisphere's achievements, both in the, the overball games. You people should understand one thing. Samoa is the overball capital of the whole world. Not just on a per capita basis. They have more players playing at the professional highest level in NFL, NRL and rugby than any other nation in the world. So you should be able to be, to be proud. I'm sure there'll be other questions that you wish to ask. My wife Beverly is a professor. She is very much into education and uh, I very much have learnt about coach education through different programs that we've done with her. She's also the chief executive of the Aquathlon and events of uh, major significance. She's so modest that she doesn't at the end of the day put that out there. So I'd like to thank you very much. I'd like to assure you too that this event will be something special firstly. Secondly, it will be shown around the world in the whole four continents. And that is super important that people become aware of just what Samoa is about. I'd like to acknowledge a person that many of you would know, Peter Beresford Blood. He was the one that inspired me on Samoa. Thank you. <laughs>